Before you watch this video all about how they're going to take me and cut me open and do all that great stuff, learn all about my heart problem in that other video I made called My Broken Heart. It was a good one. I'm proud of it. Go check it out. So I'm going to have to have open heart surgery. I haven't really told many people about it on social media or anything, but my parents have said stuff and told church members and I haven't really said anything about it. So I wanted to make this video to talk about it. If you know me at all, you know that I love playing tuba and I won't be able to play tuba for four to six weeks because that's the amount of time that my body needs to recover. And that's going to be insane to me because I've never gone that long without playing tuba. All summer long, I've been working on a recital and I've been working up these songs and I was super excited excited for it but all of a sudden there's a surgery so I'm not gonna be able to do the recital the way that I wanted to we're having to move it up and I'm having to cut a song that I was really excited for but we'll have to save that for another time but I'm actually gonna have my surgery next Friday the Monday before my surgery I will be having a recital and if you're watching this I want you to come because I want as many people to come as possible and it'll be a lot of fun and I'm excited for it it just kind of sinks that we can't have it exactly the way that I wanted it. The recovery for the surgery is going to take a while. It's four to six weeks till I'm back in shape how I was, but I'm not going to be able to lift or pull things like I should usually be able to. So because of that, I can't be in Million Dollar Band next year until hopefully I'm better in October, good enough to be able to lift up a tuba and march around the field all day long. I sent them an email and they said, yeah, we'll hold your spot for you. And I'm really grateful for that because I love being in the million dollar band and they're gonna let me do it. But it does stink because I have to miss all of the beginning stuff. And those are the fun parts when you got to get to meet people and you're going through band camp with everybody. But unfortunately I can't do it this year. Now that I've kind of explained after surgery, let me explain during surgery. The thing that they need to fix is my aortic valve and they're gonna to move my pulmonary valve over to my aortic valve and replace the pulmonary valve with like a cadaver and they're gonna hook me up to an IV and they're gonna put me to sleep and they're gonna break my breastbone and kind of get in there and that's the terrifying part to me when they when I'm not aware of anything I'm asleep and I'm not in control of anything and they're breaking me open and like poking around in there doing whatever they need to do I'm just trying not to think about it as much I'm having it at a children's hospital so they sent me this book and it looks kind of childish you know there's a baby and it, it's for parents that are trying to handle their kids and calm them down. But I read it because I was trying to get ready for this video and it kind of just freaked me out even more if we're being honest. It had all these questions that I wasn't thinking about like what if I wake up during the surgery and my anesthesia wears off? Different questions like that and I didn't really think about that but now that I am I'm like you know what yeah that's that's a scary thought but I'm just you know, it needs to be done and that's, it's not going to happen. I know that it's just, it's still a freaky thought. They're going to cut me open and they're going to put a breathing tube down me. And I found that out through the book. A breathing tube sounds horrifying uh, because I spent all day trying to like maximize my breathing and now I lose all control of it. Last night I went through this like this rabbit hole of watching videos and it really freaked me out and I should not have done it. I wouldn't recommend it if uh, you're going to have heart surgery because it just, it freaks you out and I'm not good with blood or anything like that. But I was watching these videos and this guy took his breathing tube out and he explained that he had 8% of his lung capacity when he took the breathing tube out, which is like terrifying to me. They won't take the breathing tube out until after I'm awake. So the first however long that I'm awake, I won't be able to talk and I'll be like super uncomfortable because I'll have this big tube down my throat. That's scary. I'll also have tubes in my chest for drainage and that sounds scary and wires sticking out of me so they can access my heart and do a pacemaker if they need to. And you know, that's scary. There's a lot of stuff that's scary about this surgery, but I know that it's necessary. They've been telling me ever since I was a kid that I would need this surgery. And now that I'm fine, Finally, at the age that I can do it, they're doing it and it's it's a very necessary thing because they explained it to me. We saw my MRI photos and a regular valve is supposed to be this big, but mine's like this big and like it's a scary thought. So when I saw that, I was like, yeah, okay, let, yeah, let's let's do the surgery, but I'm, I'm not excited for it. But it's just something that I want to get over and be beyond. While I'm recovering, I'm probably gonna be super, super bored because I won't be able to go to work or anything like that, but I can sit on my computer and sit in a chair and talk and edit videos. So I'm gonna be making a lot of videos. So be sure to subscribe so you can keep up with all the fun stuff that I have planned. Even though life is a little crazy right now, I'm still trying to make life musical and I hope you will too because my life is a thousand times better because I make every day as musical as I can. Even though I'm going through all this surgery stuff, I really appreciate all of your thoughts and your prayers and it just means so much to me.